Well, hey, I'm Man One, um, Los Angeles-based artist, here with the uh, summer with the Los Angeles Public Library, and I'm doing a Express Yourself little uh, demo here to show you guys how uh, I express myself and hopefully inspire you guys out there to uh, do the same. So that's that's what I'm here to do with some simple, simple uh, tools, you know, markers, pencils, pens, you know, nothing too crazy. So. Enjoy it, and hopefully uh, you get to create your own piece, you know? All right, so to begin, um, when I'm sketching out my graffiti letters or whatever, um, I usually start with the pencil uh, when I'm doing something nice and elaborate because, you know, I want to just put some faint lines down there first, and, um, and then after I come back with the markers and darken it up and all that stuff. So, you know, when you start with the pencil, you can be very loose, you know? Um, I'm going to be showing you some quick easy ways to make a letter interesting make it fun um, you know I love drawing I've been drawing since I was a little kid so I I love you know being able to take pencil to to paper and um, you know just creating some some fun like simple letter forms and hopefully as uh, as they get more and more developed they'll become more and more interesting um, at least to me you know um, and the letters I'm using is MAN, M-A-N, which is my graffiti name, which uh, MAN1 um, is what I usually sign, but my street name is MAN. Um, and so uh, M-A-N, and I love the letters and how they interact and, and link up. And I've been doing that for many, many years, so I'm not expecting you guys to you know, do your name right off the bat, you know. But um, with some practice, you know, I think you, you can you can do some cool things, um, but I, I, once I put the pencil down, then I'll come back with a sharpie, um, you know, just like a like a, a regular sharpie, and I'll I'll outline the lines that I like, right? And also at this point is when I start um, deleting lines. So there's maybe lines that I don't like, or lines that um, I want completely erased. For example, in graffiti where the letters link up, usually there's, um, they flow into each other, right? So I don't want necessarily a hard line connecting both letters. I want there to be some kind of fluidity. <coughs> so I was done here with a simple letter form. So now you can see now I've chosen the, the letters um, with the black marker around it. You can take an eraser and you can erase all those pencil lines that you drew originally so that they don't distract you. You can see areas between the M and the A where it's erased or the, or the N and the A. So now there's um, some areas now that are um, joining each other really nicely. So here's the fun part that people um, sometimes have trouble with. Uh, this is the, the part that I uh, make it three-dimensional. And so the way I do that is I start, first of all, I decide if, if the drop shadow is gonna to go to the right or to the left or to the middle or up or down. These are all different ways that you can um, you know, create the drop shadow. And then the drop shadow becomes um, almost like a, it's not just a shadow, but it's actually like a three-dimensional block of the letter. So, so I'm gonna choose to go um, to the right and so I'll go ahead and kind of like add a third dimension obviously you don't have to you can be unique and do it your own way but this is the way I like to do it and then um, it's kind of like like that And I'm just using a chisel tip um, marker because it's going to help me fill it in <clears throat> a lot quicker. And this is where perspective comes into play and um, <clears throat> something I learned in college but also um, 
in the library, you know, looking at books about drawing and perspective, and there's different kinds of perspective. There's um, things that you can learn um, in books from the old masters um, about about this kind of thing and making things look three-dimensional. So now I created the the blocks there. You can see it's starting to form, starting to build. It's looking a little bit more three-dimensional. <clears throat> now I'm going to come in and actually uh, block in some of these areas with with the marker. Um, give it more depth, more volume. And I like to do these little bars because it creates kind of like a, a break in the in the in the three D, it makes it uh, look like there's dark and shadow, or light and shadow, I should say, um, on the three D. So it's lighter up top, but then I'll throw a couple of bars, create some some movement, a little bit of movement. So here's what I, what I did, <clears throat> and you can see how um, I made it now three-dimensional um, with the with the blocks. Um, but I also, like I said, I didn't fill in all the way. So it, there's some lines there that you could see that kind of give it movement. But you could do whatever you want with that. Um, that's so that's the that's a basic piece, and in graffiti piece. Uh, we use the word piece as, as a short um, term for masterpiece because, um, you know, we have a big ego and we think we're creating masterpieces <laughs> all day long. So we call them pieces. And, um, you know, this is my piece. Um, and I'll, I'll show you right now the different levels of, of writing your name because you don't start, at least I didn't start by just doing this. I started with just my tag and then it developed over years to be able to do this, you know? And so um, I'm gonna show you guys that as well. But, um, so from this point, you know, I didn't bring a lot of colors, but it's like a coloring book at this point, right? It's uh, black and white, and then you can start getting colors and throwing them inside and blending and, you know, doing whatever you want with it. That's where a lot of the creativity happens. So I just brought a, a couple colors, just a red and a pink to kind of show you you know, just what you can do. So I'm just going to have fun with it. Um, going to create some just little designs inside of it. Um, people over the years have created a lot of different things like arrows and stars and circles and all that becomes part of, you know, of your art piece. And, um, you know, the more unique you can fill in the, the inside, um, the more unique your voice is, you know. So at this point, it's it's really like coloring in. It's really like, you know, um, like coloring in a, a a book and just adding your flavor and your color. I'm just gonna do some quick, like, real quick stuff. Nothing, nothing crazy. Um, just to show you, you know dots and circles, um, splatter, you know, you can, you, can, you can do splatter with some of these markers. Um, all that's fair game. So just have fun with it. I like to leave a lot of the white showing through just so I can um, see the contrast of the letter forms. So uh, let's see what else I can do here with the the different inks, markers. So I'll come back with more red. So this is what I've done so far. 
Um, you know, just throw a little bit of red, a little bit of pink in there, just having fun with it. But <clears throat> there's also a background to worry about or to think about. And so um, I'm not really gonna do a bunch of color in the back, but I'm gonna throw in some design. So I'm gonna throw in like these, these bubbles that are also in black, but it'll help create um, a background and a foreground, you know? So it's a very simple way to, to create depth when you're doing letter forms. Some people think it's with color, that you have to use a lot of color to make this happen, but you really don't. It's really more about contrast. <clears throat> so let's see what else I can do here. All right, so this is about done for now. <clears throat> so you can see I added like all these black little bubbles around the letters, um, just to help it create a background, make it look not so flat and um, you know, just, just for fun, right? So like I said, there's no right or wrong. You could have done stars, you could have done squares or whatever else you want to do to it. <clears throat> so the only thing left after this, when I'm sketching is I just sign it, you know? I usually put the date on there so that down the road I remember when I did it. So I'll just sign it. like that and then this is 2022 and I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put where I did it I did it at the Los Angeles Public Library so that's it now it's now it's official, it's done.